What's up, everybody? I hope you're having a great day. So I wanted to, um, to I wanted to show you the chart of the video I did last night that had to do with the, the blood moons and the solar eclipses and how all of them, if uh, the blood moons, if you, I'll show you a chart, but you know, if you, if this is January 11th, then you. The, all the blood moons on this side, January 11th, and on this side, have the same exact amount of days in between. Every single one after another after another. <clears throat> exact same amount of days in utter perfection. And then, if that's not good enough, the solar eclipses have the same thing. And the center is also January 11th on them. So... And I might, de depending on the messed up camera and editing lately, I might not actually be able to show you a chart. So in case I don't, just just a little example. Let's say here's January 11th. Let's just say 100 days ago there was a, a, so a blue, blood moon. And then in exactly 100 days later, there's going to be a blood moon. So there's 100 days see in every single blood moon 44 okay 44 at least and then there was even more so in all the blood moon tetrads everything just lined up like this in perfection and the solar eclipses same exact thing january 11th so um okay so here's the chart and as you can see Right down the middle is January 11th, and to each, the left and right, there's all these blood moons ranging from 2003 all the way to 2044. So between that one, you have 7,545 days on both sides. Then November 8, 2003 between that and March 13th, 2044, you have exactly 700, 368 days. On each side, exactly to the day, you go down this whole list, this whole thing is like that, creating this centerpiece of January 11th. And uh, as it says here, Genesis 1.14, And God said, Let there be lights in the firmament of the heaven to divide the day from the night and let them be for signs or moeds, which are divine appointments, is another translation. Luke 21.25, There shall be signs in the sun, moon, and the stars, and upon the earth distress of nations with perplexity, the sea and the waves roaring. So there's many other scriptures relating to this. Um, and like I said, there's also the, he did, Steve did the same thing with the, um, the solar eclipses. Okay, so all this was in my previous video I just did right before this one, showing you his video, or talking about his video, um, Steve Fletcher's video. And uh, so you can um, go look at that if you haven't. And this is this extraordinary masterpiece in the heavens pointing to January 11th. So the other thing that I mentioned was uh, Holly Tuman's dream. So she had this dream, and this is what she saw, a dark moon and a bright moon. And then what she heard was, the moon will be dark at midnight and bright again an hour later at one o'clock. The bridegroom comes at the midnight hour. So she heard that the bridegroom comes at the midnight hour. And that's right out of Matthew 25 anyway, but the moon will be dark at midnight. That could be our clue. 
So if you look over here at the moon, you have uh, right here the new moon, which is the dark moon. You can't see it. January 11th, 3.57 a.m. This is from L.A., but um, you can calculate it wherever you're at. But 3.57 a.m. January 11th. Definitely a time to be watching. So, yeah, so that's it. So I put all this together because my editing has gotten a little uh, messed up lately. Uh, so I just put all this together and I'm just going to put it in the video where I'm talking in the car. You know, you, you know, God is, God designed the sun and the moon to, to tell us, like I said in Genesis 1 14, um, the sun and moon and stars are in the heavens to show us, point to certain times and moeds, divine appointments, and to show us the days and the years and the months. And so, and of course, you know the story of the Gospels and the stars, starting with the Ram and Aries, you know, and Jesus died on the cross and he's, he's the Lamb of God, the Ram. Okay, so, um, so, uh, the other thing that's interesting is that January 11th is also a new moon. And um, but it's actually the it's actually the black moon, okay, which is the same as the new moon. It's just that there's been confusion over the definition of things like that. But so now, Holly Two Moon had done a video, and also, and this, what I'm about to tell you, I saw on, again, Brother Brandon's uh, co community post, um, again, uh, Moto for Christ. He changed his name, Moto for Christ, M-O-T-O -O for Christ, and uh, <clears throat> he does some interesting things, pulling stuff together. So he had looked at uh, Holly, of course, I've seen Holly Two Moon, she ch I mean, she had so many Two Moon dreams that she changed her channel name to Holly Two Moon. So, um, um, so she had had a dream where she saw the rat, she saw a, a, a dark moon, like a black moon, and then a, a light one, and then she heard the bridegroom comes at midnight and the dark moon the um you know what i think it was the the black moon was oh you know what i'm going to have to link the dream cuz i'm forgetting the connection to the midnight but she she heard that the Lord's coming at midnight, and then the black moon had a connection to midnight. And what's, what I thought of yesterday was that, okay, so she's not the only one who's had two moon dreams like a lot of you out there have. In fact, you know, it seems like hundreds have, and it's you know, you know, God's trying to say something. So, but what is he trying to say? <clears throat> We're, we've gone through different theories of what he's saying in the past, looking at different things. But what occurred to me yesterday was this. <clears throat> Maybe God is actually pointing to the blood, the blood moon tetrads. Because that connects to this chart. Okay, that I'm been telling you about because a blood moon tetrad 
is uh, involves two moons. And two moons on one side of the year and then two moons on the other. If you remember, it was Passover, Tabernacle, Passover, Tabernacle, Tabernacle. And so it's like, again, the two moons, two moons on Passover, two moons on Tabernacle. It could be, it could be pointing to that. Um, and if it's pointing to that, you know, then that's pointing to this, to this chart. <clears throat> and that chart's pointing to January 11th. <laughs> And, uh, like, it just goes on and on with these amazing things that the Lord shows people in dreams and, and things that are in the, in the sky, in the constellations. So, that occurred to me. And then, Sister Kim Fisher, she's talked for a long time about that she had a vision of, of a black moon. And I think there was a cross <clears throat> right behind it or in front of it. And so she always thought that could mean the raptures during a black moon. And then, of course, the Bible says, like on the Torah calendar, you know, blow the trumpet in the new moon. And so, not that they do, they don't blow the trumpet every new moon, but, but God's word says to blow the trumpet in the new moon. In numbers, I think it is. So then she had also seen a, a bright moon and now I'm just speculating right now, but it was like yellow, which kind of reminded me of the sun and it could be pointing to this phenomenon with the moon and the sun and then with the solar eclipses. And then there's been a lot of people too have had dreams about the rapture at the time of a solar eclipse, the rapture at the time of blue, a blood moon, <clears throat> um, and the whole blue moon thing could be pointing to two moons, which could be pointing to what I'm talking about right now. <clears throat> um, because blue moon means two moons. And we're looking at two moons that are <laughs> blood, blood moon with this, all of this phenomenon in the heavens with with the blood moons and solar eclipses. I mean, this is really, <clears throat> this is like, this really is absolutely mind blowing. And just the way God did this to begin with. I, I mean, the phenomenon, like how can you even comprehend what God has done here. It's just extraordinary. It just blows my mind. I mean, aside from the rapture watch day because of it, it's still mind blowing on every level. And you know, there's, there's <clears throat> it, to me, it's not even a question. Is God trying to say something about January 11th? And if I was going to tell you what it feels like, it feels like he's, he's highlighting this day in the heavens with, like I said, and it's more than 44 blood moons or tetrides. It goes even further back to, than that. Like, it could cover the span of, I don't know if it's 100 years or what. I, I, I have to look at it more carefully, but, you know, a long time, okay? Maybe a little less than 100 years. I mean, this is just incredible. <clears throat> and... Um, you know, it would appear to me that, that he loves, he loves January 11th. I mean, something <clears throat> that he loves it. And, you know, the, the, the groom is represented by the, the sun and the moon is the bride. I mean... You know, and I'm like, how could it not be the rapture, okay? <clears throat> you know, I, I mean, how could it not be? But like I said, I don't know for sure, but it's a beautiful thing, and we know we're very close, and 111, you know, and by the way, I mean, so many of you left comments about 
<clears throat> how you're seeing 111 all the time or 1111 or you know I think one of you said I was watching your video and looked at the clock and it was 111 and then I think another person said it was 1111 when they were watching it it just and then somebody said uh, several of you said my video <clears throat> ended up being uh, 10 11 sec uh, minutes um you know, 10th month to that, and then the 11th day on the Gregorian calendar. Uh, you know, it, you guys are always confirming everything. I mean, it, you know, one thing I love about the comments, even though they can be very challenging <clears throat> with the negative stuff, is that if anybody who wasn't really a believer was watching a video of mine and although it would sound crazy to an unbeliever <clears throat> because of the content type of content I, I usually do um, if they looked at the comments they would be like well I you know looks like hundreds of people know what she's talking about I guess she can't be that crazy right so that is a very good witness for Christ because in the end <clears throat> aside from encouraging the body of Christ which is partly what we're called to do as well as evangelize that's why I don't like when people say well you shouldn't be watching for the rapture just go preach the gospel well first of all I do preach the gospel on these videos and the rapture is about Jesus Christ so hello the rapture is about Jesus Christ and the whole Bible is about the rapture the whole Bible is about the love of God for his people the whole Bible is about <clears throat> how much Yeshua loves his people that he calls his bride that's what the Bible is so uh, you might need to reread it those of you who leave those types of comments um, so with that said um, get saved if you're not believe this gospel believe Jesus Christ came and died for your sins on the cross they buried him and he rose from death on the third day to conquer death hell and the grave and prove show everyone show the world that he's God he is the Son of God came in the flesh born of a virgin wrapped in swaddling clothes the Word of God born in the flesh John 1 amazing God God, the one who created everything, came in the flesh in the form of a person, Jesus Christ, Yeshua HaMashiach. I mean, that alone is amazing. If you really think about it, like, really think about it, it's amazing. And you don't have to think too hard to know it's amazing. But don't let it bypass you. Call on the name of Yeshua. All who call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. We're saved. By grace through faith, and not of yourself, it's the gift of God, lest any man should boast. Jesus Christ paid for your sins on the cross, made atonement for your sins, for all your sins. One time, paid atonement for all your sins, so that you could be born again and filled with the Spirit of God, the Holy Spirit, <clears throat> and now walk as a new creature in Christ. Old things have passed away. Behold, all, all things, old things have passed away. Behold, all things are new. And things are about to get brand new now. Now we're going to the next level at the rapture where you're going to be brand new, totally manifested in the flesh with your glorified bodies. <clears throat> no more sorrow, no more pain, no more sickness, no more disease, no more afflictions all day, no more discouragement. You're never going to have despair again. You're never going to have sadness again. You're never. He's going to wipe away all your tears. The Bible says that. He's going to wipe away all your tears. <clears throat> You're never going to be sick. No one's ever going to die. You don't have to worry about anything ever again. No anxiety, no worries, no frustrations. All your dreams are going to come true. 
in the twinkling of an eye. In the, in the twinkling of an eye, that fast, boom. Wow. <laughs> Think about that. Would you rather have that happen or reject Christ and burn in hell forever? Don't waste time, folks, because World War III, nuclear war, is about to break out. Seven-year uh, seven deal is uh, with the COP28. It's about to start. Well, it started. Um, I heard something interesting about that that John told me. What was it? it it's, there was a day in 2030 that they pointed to he said if you tr if you subtract 20 520 days of daniel from that day you land on january 11th again i mean this is getting mind-blowing all this stuff 111 11 11 praise the lord anyway you guys uh keep looking up don't stop watching okay don't lose your crown Get a, get a crown of righteousness for watching, okay? The Bible says that. Crown of righteousness for watching. And what, el what else is there to look for? He's everything. He is everything beautiful there ever was. He's better than life itself. Yeshua HaMashiach, the one who loves you eternally. So with that, you guys, take care, and I'll see you soon.